um, on oral assessment, um, the, which started in 2008-2009, and the main goal was to promote uh, and improve formal oral proficiency in relation to the department learning goals, which had been established and um, set a few years before. Um, before even going into the um, uh, project, we decided to find out what were the current practices from all of our colleagues in terms of oral assessment. What is it that they do? That is, what is it that we do? Um, in terms of frequency, we found out that half of um, uh, the language faculty assess at least twice per semester their, their students for oral proficiency, 30% once, and this can be done via interviews, presentation, or class participation, 10% never, but never uh, formally, um, and 81% assess informally, yeah, as attendance or participation. Uh, in terms of what was the percentage of the grade given to oral proficiency, it varies greatly, as you can see, between 5% and 20%. Um, this, again, could be done via participation, presentation, or attendance. Um, the question that was important, too, was how is feedback given to students? Not at all, was one answer. <laughs> yeah, individual conferences. Uh, a mid-semester grade or a written report, which, which could take the form of a um, rubric. Now, once we had found out the current practices, we started collecting data um, among language faculty using a tool which most of you by now should be familiar with, which is WIMBA. We had colleagues uh, volunteer to assess the oral proficiency of, of their students using WIMBA, which facilitated the amount of times that they did it. And once we had all the samples at the various levels of instruction, um, we were able to analyze the sample and are we doing what we say we're doing? Are we meeting those goals, those learning goals? And um, Professor Shona Williams and I, as the co-PI, the co-principal investigators of the project, wrote a report, which I will show to you, um, with a few recommendations. Um, this report is currently available on the department website. You see here are the um, learning goals for um, the department, for the major, at the lower division, for the upper division, per language program, and this is the assessment project. Let's take a look quickly at the executive summary. So one, we had five major recommendations. The first one is, um, formal oral assessment of oral proficiency should take place every semester in all courses across the curriculum. The Committee for the Studies of Romance Languages and Cultures recommend three to six formal oral assessment activities to be built into every course. Formal and informal oral assessment activities should be included in course syllabi, and the grade distribution should reflect, reflect 20 to 30 percent of the final grade. Um, and the second one is in regard to a tool that can facilitate the higher frequency. We all, and this is WIMBA in that case, is one tool among others. So let's take a look then. Um, we, so per recommendation number one, which was to include activities, um, um, a formal assessment activities in the syllabi, we uh, redesigned all the syllabi at the multi-section course level per recommendation one and two. Um, let's take an example, let's look at a syllabus, syllabus in French as an example. This is a 115, which is um, currently in French 101 and 102 in one semester. <coughs> um, you can see here, so this is the syllabus and uh, uh, there is a little blurb about the, um, the goals of the department, the learning goals with um, the web address, why is it what we're doing. As part of this project, all French 100 sections include this semester several formative and summative oral exercises. And they, and they explain the different speaking opportunities that they have. So, the, the formative assessment, so it's divided into informative assessment and summative assessment. For formative assessment, um, they have to do a picture prompt, a recitation, and a role play. And the role play is a speaking test conducting in pairs via the tool of WIMBA. Uh, in terms of summative assessment, so at the end of the semester, it is an open-ended question during a face-to-face -face interview with the instructor. 
So these are the multiple opportunities via the electronic tool, WIMBA, for the formative assessment, yet the 